The United States committed itself to integrate science and technology into its foreign policy, but an application of it has yet to materialize. The Black Sea region currently is a hotbed for the energy industry. It has been going through an unprecedented level of development with nuclear power and ultra-deep oil and gas drilling at all times high. My name is Mustafa Sezjan. I'm an undergraduate student at University of Southern California. And today I will talk about how to solve the security crisis in the eastern flank of NATO. Now, the US can reinvigorate its foreign policy and assume a modern leadership role by utilizing its science and technology capabilities to adapt a whole of society approach in carrying out its responsibilities both at home and abroad. With our knowledge and experience from the Fukushima nuclear accident and the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, we have an opportunity. An opportunity to safeguard the environment. The 300 million people residing in the littoral countries and especially the interests of the United States over the long run. Stakeholders of this policy proposal can be strategically organized like a bow tie. The State Department placed to the center of the bow tie constitutes the node that will connect and organize the US think tank from various of its institutions to the six countries that surround the Black Sea. If a nuclear disaster or an oil spill were to occur in this region, it would contaminate the water supply for six countries and also disrupt the maritime transportation. The ensuing effect would be an international disaster in a region that is already characterized by conflict. Therefore, I propose that the US help prevent a potential disaster by working alongside all six countries in the region. With the leadership of STAS, the Department of State is suggested to form cross-functional teams. Teams of technical experts from the US safety and regulatory agencies, the US national labs, and even academic institutions can contribute to developing and implementing best practices to the Black Sea region. On the other end of the bow tie, the Department of State will communicate with the embassies in Russia, Georgia, Turkey, Bulgaria, Romania and Ukraine to offer support. By understanding the situations in the littoral countries of the Black Sea, the State Department can help every country develop its energy generation capabilities and keep the Black Sea region safe, while increasing its public image in the international community. Science and technology capabilities are the trump cards that are held by the United States, and we should not hesitate to use these capabilities to benefit the broader global community. The United States has, oppor has an opportunity to channel its scientific resources to ensure global stability in a historically unstable region. We as a nation should make every effort to protect those in the Black Sea from the next Fukushima or the deep water horizon oil spill.